you see Tip? Tip's going tip, to 80 tip, million. Tip, tip, the king of trap music, one of the biggest. Oh, you I know, mean, you know. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you had. Go ahead. You had to be with Tip. What, what, what you? And I, I just want you to know right now before you go any further, I'm gonna side with Tip. <laughs> I just figured out you do. So whatever you say, I'm doing. You're an tip. asshole, man. <laughs> Just so, just so we clear, I don't want no bits. It's like this: he from South, I'm from South. I don't yep. give a damn. Yep. Like yep. my grandmother said, <laughs> <laughs> if it's two frogs on the pond, we gonna sit up there on each other. What? <laughs> Listen. So, so what happened? Okay. First of all, me and Tip are cool as hell. Right. Plain and simple. I'm a Tip fan. Always have been. Okay. So I'm in Atlanta, Atlanta Comedy Theater. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and Atlanta, I wanted to go to Atlanta because I just wanted to be there, all the women. I just wanted to be there. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. To, ah. yeah. And so I go, I, I was, I didn't really want to go to that club because I always hear about fights and all kind of shit, but I had to go to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So one day I'm on stage, I do hour 40 of straight fire, right? Yeah. And I get my boy is hosting. He goes, Hey man, I'm going to keep the show going. I go, for what? I'm like, I'm the headline. It's done. It's done. He goes, uh, T.I. wants to go up. And I go, for what? The fuck is it? I, I, I was like, is he doing, is he going to sing? Uh, it's his city. Yeah, he going to rap. He gonna, yeah, he goes, yeah. no, he's doing comedy. I said, oh. And so I get off stage and I see Tip in the, in the, in the green room. There's yeah. two green rooms. At the, uh, I don't know if you've ever been there. No, I yeah, there's two green rooms. And I see him. I go, he go, hey, man, what's up, guy? Man? How you doing, man? I was like, yo. I said, what's up, Tip? Blah, blah, blah. I said, yo, man. He said, you doing comedy today? Comedy? He said, yeah. I was like, okay. I just was like, I don't fucking know. Because a lot of times people approach comedy like it's a fucking hobby. It's not a hobby. It's right. a real deal. It's right. your life for real. Um, and I just like, okay. And I went back to the green room to de decompress because I'm just hour and a half. I'm That's what I do. I go to the green room and chill the fuck out. And so... And so I'm like, wow, he's doing comedy? That's crazy. And then um, the next, the following week, I went on my podcast, In God Free We Trust, on the Gas Digital Network. I, I, I went on my podcast, and we were talking about it. I said, yeah, T.I. is doing comedy. I was like, everybody seems to just be going to comedy like it's that easy. I mean, I don't have the, I'm not the gatekeeper to comedy, but I just, just like thought it was funny. And then I go, then they said, yo, did you go watch him? I go, no. For what? I'm the comedian. Why are we going to watch him do what I do better than him for? That's what I said. That's what I said. Right. My, I said, I, I'm, it's not a disrespect to him. I just right. don't believe he's right. trying to do comedy. Right. And so that excerpt got spread around. Mm -hmm. And sh uh, there was Shuler King called me. There was some other comedian saying, man, you good, man? I woke up to it. You good? I said, yeah, I'm good. What's up? He said, man, T.I., you know when T.I. goes in the woods? Yeah. When he goes in the woods, he goes like, man, I'm about to get something out of my chest. <laughs> uh, apparently, expeditiously, <laughs> psychologically, and scientifically, uh, somebody, you know, and I'm a big fan of comedy, but I felt I was disrespected by, and, he, and I saw that someone sent it to me, and I was like, shit, he took that shit the wrong way. You know what I mean? Right. So he felt that I disrespected him. And he's like, I'm a, I'm a fan of these guys. I've always been a fan of comedy. Mm -hmm. And it's natural for an artist to want to do other things in the arts. Which Correct. Totally get it. You know? And so I'm, this is the time when I was writing on Nick Cannon's daytime talk show. I was writing on, see, Nick always be hiring people. So yeah. I was writing on, and I told Nick, I said, Nick, did you hear what happened? He goes, Nick's like, what? No, I said, I showed him Tip's thing. Right. And he goes, oh. Tip is just in his feelings, man, because, you know, he, you know, he didn't know he was doing comedy, but I'll call him. I said, call him right now. Call him. I want to FaceTime him so I can tell him face to face. And so I say, hey, man. Hey, Tip, man, I didn't mean any harm with that. I just didn't know he was doing comedy like that because so many people fuck around in comedy and shouldn't they fuck around like it's easy. Right. Because that's like me coming after you and start rapping after you said, I'm out. It's like, yo, Tip. Godfrey got some rhymes he wants to drop. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, nah, you right, you right, that's true. But man, you know, I've been watching comedy, comedy view, watch all y'all, man. I respect it and all that. I said, that's cool. I, hey, man, more power to you. If you about that shit, cool. I just know that people take comedy for granted and there's a lot of bums in here doing it. That's, I was coming from that perspective. Right. But you can do whatever the fuck you want. How, let me ask you this. I had Mo, Monique on the show. Yes, Monique. And her... And I think DL had a disagreement about headlining. Mm. 
You felt that you was the headliner. Yes. Once you had done yours, yes. it should have been over. Yes. So had Tip performed before you, would you have had an I would have been okay with okay. that. Okay. If you it's the it's the chron- chronology of it. Okay. It's just in 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 show business, headliner, there's a reason why you're the headliner. Right. Just if you would have said, Hey, Tip wants to go up before you. Cool, it's his city. Right. Cool. That's yeah. cool. But yeah. after me, no. Right. That's okay. that, that's okay. unless unless it was okay. George Wallace walked in, and I'll go, hell yeah. Right? Just mm-hmm. be like, man, you're just stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm come on here. I'm going to do a couple of jokes. You know, fuck everybody. Fuck Tip. Fuck T.I. Fuck you. Fuck everybody. Yeah, I, I would be like, yeah, George Wallace is going up. I go, he's five-star general. Right. Rock is here. Five-star general. Seinfeld. I'm going to Seinfeld. Five-star general. That's different. Right. But okay. T.I., you're a rapper. I don't know. You're, you're a hip-hop. Right. I, I listen to your shit on my shit. I'm, so that's what. So okay. we we squashed it. We squashed it. He came on my podcast. We squashed it. It was It's all good, man. And he calls me whenever. Sometimes he's in New York. He wants to get stage. I try to get him on stages. Yeah, but we all good. He's taking it seriously. Yeah. So I'm, I'm more power to him, man. What what comedian you say has helped you the most that's given you the, the best advice? Ooh. Bill Cosby. Jerry Seinfeld and um, who else? Who else is giving me good advice? Um, Joan Rivers gave me some too. Oh, I you didn't take all the Cosby advice, did you? I did. Well, not. You got to put the pill <laughs> in the drink, and you got to stir it while she's not looking. You go, hey, look over there. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> no, <laughs> he told me writing is the key. And he remember he says, "Son, I want you to see the word. See, show business. What is the bigger word?" Always remember, business. You got to have the business. He, so that, I took that. I took the Seinfeld. Um, that was um, important. Um, yeah, but um, I spoke to Joan Rivers. Says she gave Joan you Rivers. Just just keep. I love your honesty. Oh, just keep doing it. You're so funny. You're so talented. See, it was in Montreal, man. I got to meet her, man. It was crazy because she wanted to meet me. Is that the big show up in Montreal where all the comedians go? Yeah, they just script? they just X that. It's done. Oh, it's done. Bankruptcy, all that shit. Done. No more Montreal. Oh. And that was the biggest one in the world. Yes. And it Cause was. Cause Lorel told us about that, that they, yeah. the comedians mm-hmm. go there and then they yeah. have, they have big, big people come yeah. watch different comedians and all this other shit, shatter some dreams, you know, shit like that. Damn. Mm hmm. It's done. They got maybe Melbourne Comedy Festival, but they got other little festivals, but Montreal was like right. the main, but that shit's gone. Right. But that was, the, that's the advice I took and, you know, Tony Woods gave me advice. Tony right. Woods, like regular dudes have, but those were the main ones that gave me advice on stuff, you know? Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.